Asian zing chili pepper sauce and I got some sweet chili sauce so this is the Asian zing chili pepper yeah you guys can see that and this is the sweet chili sweet chili and I also got some ranch as well so how have you guys week been? What has been going on, you guys? I'm gonna give y'all this first bite of this good looking chicken here. Now this right here is um, uh, sweet and sour sauce. Now you remember that? To eat, and then we'll get into topic. <laughs> Kick to it. some sweet chili. <clears throat> oh, me in this glass again, y'all. So yeah, y'all. Mm. 
as I am. <clears throat> Dragon Sierra Miss. What was a trip today, y'all? Yes, it was. Well, it wasn't actually today. It was actually um, a couple days ago. Mm, it was bizarre. Mm, I didn't like it whatsoever. So, <clears throat> so what happened was, I went to the convenience store, right? Get my cup of coffee. I got to have my coffee. Was I go get it at a convenience store? Well, I make it at home. I gotta have it. So I went and um to the convenience store to get some coffee, among a few other things. And um, so I was over there. <clears throat> you know how they had the little coffee section over there, you know, and um. You have your little side, because, you know, like, some convenience stores you go in, you have a side, you know, A and B. Some of them, you just have one coffee center, so. This particular one, I had an A and B. I go in there, made my coffee and everything, while I'm making it. And um this um gentleman just walked over to me, right? And you know, he was of course making some coffee. But <clears throat> the situation that you know he put me in was kinda like very unpleasant. At first, I thought it was a nice, you know, um, cordial, you know, uh, a cordial uh, greeting or whatever. You know, something like just along the lines of, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, this and that. And that's nice. You know, because, you know, you at the coffee center making coffee. So, you know, of course, you'll talk to people and be pleasant. And um, that's what I thought it was. And then, I mean, it wasn't too out of the ordinary, but it was just uncomfortable. And you know how you ever been in an uncomfortable situation where you just like, Ugh. okay, like that's enough. Like really, like I'm very uncomfortable right now. I don't, you know, I'm not t trying to talk to you in that light to where <clears throat> you need to keep on talking. And, you know, the way he did it, he went about it. He was talking. I, um, he sat his coffee down on the counter at the coffee stand and he had said a few words and I um, you know like I said I spoke cordial or whatever and then it was like as he was fixing his coffee you know how somebody just kind of like um, continuously like I wouldn't say rub because he didn't get close to me to rub up against me, but it was like crying my space. You know how you got your coffee's part on that section. I have mine on this section. They're both being occupied. So what's the need of you moving closer? Inch by inch. I tell you, this man is moving closer. <laughs> and I was like, okay, now I know. Everything on that section 
that you need for that coffee should be over there in that section because that's one side and this is a completely different side and everything I need is over here in my section so we don't have to do no you know what I'm saying walking across each other being unpleasant reaching over and all this and that and he was just buying stuff for his coffee you know cream and sugar and all that getting the stir you know just talking and moving closer and just saying little stuff. I don't even know what he was saying. I was so irritated. He was saying stuff like, oh yeah. Um, how you put it? I don't know if it's word for word, y'all, but um, yeah, I needed my coffee this morning, too. Mm -hmm. And you know how somebody expecting you just to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? I, I already said a pleasant hello. You know, I wasn't trying to have a whole you know, conversation with this man. I really well. And he just didn't get that point. And not only did he not get it, but it was like almost so he just cried in my space so that I kind of just was like, oh, I'm irritated right now, you know, but I didn't react the way I felt because I didn't want to just really, really be rude. But how do you not know that you cry in somebody's space when you doing that? That have doing that type of behavior and you see them inching away inching away and yet you just try to find something to talk about it wasn't like you knew me I didn't know him he didn't know me you know we said a pleasant hello I said a pleasant hello thought he, that's what he was doing but obviously he just wanted to keep on talking and even if you find somebody <clears throat> uninterested in conversation or whatever I mean why, why try to force that why try to invade people's space when they're not comfortable with that clearly they're not and so i was just like i kind of let a sigh i kind of like let out a sigh like oh this is getting irritating you know and kind of you know he looked like he was surprised you know i didn't want to be rude but you know it was like it can come a point when you it should come a point when you realize you're invading somebody's space like it should come a point where you just like okay clearly this lady don't want to be bothered with conversation or whatever and it's not that you don't like somebody or that you don't or you discriminating or whatever it ain't nothing like that you know it's just i ain't had my coffee this morning i don't feel like talking period <laughs> but not only that though he just made me feel uncomfortable my question is you know how do you know when uncomfortable is uncomfortable? Like, shouldn't somebody know when they invade in somebody's space to the point to where they just making them go like, eat, making their skin crawl? You know? That's kind of how that was. So, anyway. I'm trying to y'all in on that color. Because, like I said, I did not like it. <clears throat> so I talked to um my friend girl today who I was telling y'all about the candles and all ah, wrong guy with that kind of stuff she um Brought some more scents and stuff over this way. So I'll be sharing them with you guys as well. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, this is good, good. Mm -hmm. Did you ever try them? Try them. Crab ragoon. Mm-hmm. That's really good. It's like, you can, I mean, I guess it's like crab, lobster meat, whatever. Mixed with cream cheese, fried on a crispy shell, really good. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. 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 
Mm. I hadn't had Sierra Mist in a while. Tell you what, you gotta be a soldier to eat some of that dang on um Asian zing chili pepper soy and ginger sauce. Mm-mm. Mm, you have to be <clears throat> That's good, but it's very, very spicy. I didn't know it was as hot and spicy as it was. Right. The flavor is Cucumbers and Italian dressing too, y'all over here. Mmm, that's good. Mm. That's a good flavor. That's good with tomatoes too. Cucumbers and tomatoes and Italian dressing, just mix it up. Some people put onions in it, but I, I don't know. I, I don't remember trying it with onions. <clears throat> I guess they could possibly be good with onions. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, really? It will make you thirsty, though. It will. So I got them babies. Um, Easter basket yet? Some of y'all gonna be doing a little hunting around the house, so y'all gonna be going to church or whatever. I say, here you Easter basket, and here you go. <laughs> mm. A lot of people don't like to take time, like they used to back in the day, to do like you know, a lot of um, homemade um, you know arts and crafts and stuff like that with the kids. So much stuff now. It's in the stores and you know. Kids see it and they want it and parents get it. With no questions involved. Hmm. All they say is it beat just making it. <laughs> But then it's understandable because some of them don't have the time to do all that, you know, but working, but raising multiple kids and you know, 
taking care of household, period. You know? It's a lot of work. And then especially if it's like a single mama that's doing it by herself with multiple kids. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, y'all, so let's get into these scents. You know, I didn't know the name of her shop um, last time, the last on the last video, but um, it's actually called Scent Purbulous. Scent Purbulous. Hold on. A little bright. Y'all see the colors? I don't know if that's too bright or not, but it's actually scent purbulous and it's spelled um, S C E N T P E R B U L O U S. Um, she is all, but she's always on Facebook. I mean, she's excuse me. Mm -hmm. She is also on Facebook, and I don't know. If she, I think she got a TikTok too. I'm not sure if she. I think her uh, her sister-in-law who I ordered from I think she said she also had a TikTok account but you would probably have to go up under uh I don't know if it's the same name or not on TikTok as it is on Facebook but like I said this is um her sh that's the name of her shop and also so yeah Scent Purbulous, uh, owner Star Carter. That's her name, Star Carter. Um, <clears throat> she's the owner slash maker. Uh, she specializes in ha homemade soy wax candles, room slash linen sprays for uh, aromatherapy and all that type of stuff, and much more. And her email is uh, scent, S C E N T P E R. Bulus, B U L O U S, uh, two L's, C at gmail.com. She also specializes for inquiries for weddings and birthdays, anniversaries. Um, so she said, you know, give her a call out there at uh, St. Perbulus. That's a card. If you guys are interested in some type of smell good candle, uh, she got a new store out there um, at. Um, one four one three a edge edge field street it's in greenwood i actually said abbeville in the last video but it's actually in greenwood um so it is one four one three a edge edge field street greenwood south carolina and she also has a business partner who also uh specializes in some same some of the same things that she does and her name is uh sankofa yeah, y'all gotta bear with me on this name. Hold on, because I think she, you know, <laughs> I think she thought we possibly could say her name without uh, hesitation. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it and then I'm gonna spell it and then, you know, y'all can go from there. But it's Sankofa, S A N K O F A, uh, Apatharchy, A P O T H E C A R Y, Sankofa Apatharchy. She also uh, is specializing uh, in stuff with her. They are kind of like uh, doing it together, you know, at the shop right now. So she's, um, I think she is an alchemist. I'm not familiar with that, but I guess uh, some of the things that she specializes in, I think that uh, her daughter-in-law told me she specializes in a lot of uh, aromatherapy stuff, of course. And a lot of things for aches and pains, um, you know, just stuff that come with age, um, the gout and stuff like that. She has uh, body oils and creams and stuff like that that kind of like alleviate all that stuff. Got a uh, good moisturizer. They have body creams and stuff for your hands and all kind of stuff like that. So she gave me another candle to try out. Well, actually, I actually got this one from her. This was the uh, Prosperity, and it's a rosemary cedar with white sage. You don't see that? And 
you know how I am about these scents, y'all. Mmm. That's apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. It smells so good. Mmm. Yeah. So that's the prosperity one. Like I said, don't you just like these cute little candle, uh, you know, look candle holder things of the candle containers? So cute. Got the name of the store on it. <laughs> that's cute. And um, I also got some. This some uh, room and linen spray. I got from her as well. Smells good. It's uh, the amber kind, amber some sort. Yeah. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, and don't you just love these little things? So cute. They are the. Uh, this is called Candy Crush, actually. And you know, you put them in your like a little candle holder, and you light the little, the little thingamajig inside the little candle holder thing, and then you put this on top of it. And then it melts down. It smells so good. So yeah. Um, if you guys want to order, you know, with her, I can put some information down in this description box below. Or you can just watch this video again and give me a thumbs up. How about that? Either way. Either way. Either way. You can get the info. Information. <laughs> Yeah, colors. Um, so y'all share with me some um, moments where you know. Well, back to the topic again, because you know I want to share that um, candle information with y'all. But you know, share some moments with me about when y'all don't had like uh, a weirded out situation <laughs> from, of course, it'll be strangers, but. You know, I'm just saying. Mm hmm. Let's share it down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You guys, I have enjoyed y'all. Mm. Please come eat with me again. Check me out. Share my videos. And help me grow. <laughs> okay, y'all. Till next time. Mwah.